Back here at home, a popular GPS app used by drivers to avoid traffic jams and accidents on the roadways causing big time concerns about the safety of our police officers. The Google owned app Waze shows that not only where accidents and stalled cars are creating backups, but also where police are located in real time. With ambush attacks against officers on the rise, some in law enforcement are saying this app is putting the lives of our men and women in blue in danger right now. Waze, owned by Google, responds by saying that some law enforcement agencies embrace the app and that it only provides a rough location of officers who are spotted but does not track them. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark disagrees and he joins us now. Welcome, great to have you on the program today. Thank you, Uma. I know that you and others have been highly critical of this smartphone app because you really believe this is setting up for future ambush attacks against our officers and you'd like that portion of the app deleted and you want the company to do something about it now. Well, Uma, anybody that knows me knows that I'm not going away on this. I think there's a compromise here, and all we are asking is for Google officials to sit down with us so that we can be heard. I think Google has a moral and an ethical obligation when someone brings to their uh, attention uh, some safety hazard with a product that they uh, have put out to sit down and just have the discussion. Initially, they agreed to meet with law enforcement officials over this concern, and then they canceled it, and now they won't even return our phone calls. Here's a concern for law enforcement. It's not the total app, just one aspect of it. If uh, the, the guy who ambushed two of New York's finest, uh, officers Lou and uh, Ramos, God rest their soul, had Creep used this Waze app to identify the, and pinpoint the location of law enforcement officers as he fled Baltimore into the New York area, and he bragged about it. If you're uh, trying to evade an Amber Alert, if you've abducted a child, if you've abducted a woman, to get away, you can use this app to locate, even if it's just the rough area of law enforcement, and you can navigate through that, and it puts us at a huge tactical disadvantage when we're trying to locate those individuals. So all we're asking uh, Google to do, because I think the app does have, it's very useful for the motoring public, but there's no reason why they need to have even the rough location of where law enforcement is. That's of no use to the motoring public. You have direct evidence linking the suspect who killed those two police officers in New York who actually used this device to track them? He bragged on his social... I'm sorry, he bragged on his social media that uh, he used that Waze app, app to uh, uh, identify the, the, the location of officers. I'm not saying it was directly involved in, in him locating officers uh, Ramos and, and Lou, but he, along with some others and some other ambush attacks on law enforcement, uh, have indicated there's evidence to suggest that they use that to pinpoint the location of officers. Like I said, that's an officer safety hazard, but also there's a public safety, and I want to point you know, once again to the Amber uh, alert is an example of where the, the, the public is at risk uh, and all we're asking Google to do is sit down with us and have the discussion. I think that's reasonable. We are not asking them to get rid of this, this app entirely, like I said. When you have, I think it has some you, use. But for them to, to, to blow us off, I've never in my 37 years had some corporation just totally blow off law enforcement. They're not giving you any reason for why they're avoiding meeting with you? No, they canceled uh, the uh, schedule an initial meeting. They'd agreed to meet with us. Then they canceled it, didn't give any indication, and now they won't even return our phone calls. Obviously, you're a, a big critic of this program, but uh, the company says some law enforcement uh, agencies are embracing this technology. How do you, how do you respond yeah, to that? Embrace I'm sorry, we embrace the technology. If it can help people avoid traffic congestion uh, to, to navigate construction sites, that helps uh, me and my deputies on the freeway system. It helps with uh, traffic log jams, but that's not what law enforcement um, is, is critical about as, as it relates to this app. It's the global positioning of law enforcement that's the concern. So even those law enforcement agencies that Google claims uh, embrace this app, Law enforcement does not brace, embrace, I should say, that aspect of the global positioning of uh, where our law enforcement officers are. I mean, it's really disconcerting knowing that uh, officers' lives are in real jeopardy if uh, some deadbeat wants to go out there and target officers using this technology. You know, that's the concern here. And, and I, I know that uh, we can reach some compromise. And, you know, I'll accept whatever 
uh, decision in the end Google uh, decides on. If they want to keep it up in the end, fine. But at least let us be heard. I'm sure that we can convince them. Maybe they don't see the whole thing like we see it from law enforcement, the law enforcement point of view. But I'm sure that uh, we can come to a compromise and they just come to the table. That's all we're asking at this point. No one in law enforcement is asking them to take this app down. All right, uh, we're going to follow the story, and I hope you keep us posted. Thank you so much for joining us today.